What's going on YouTube? Gsn right here. Today I'm going to show you an application that I'm working on for those of you who are missing the jailbreak environment, the jailbreak features, and want some of that on your device. The application has been in development for a couple of months now. It's called Sendio, and as you can see, you have a couple of things in here, including a terminal, file manager, IPA tweaker, IPA signer, deb extractor, and even a package manager for it. But all of these is currently in development. Today I'm going to show you how I can manage the files on the device from my computer or any other device directly using Sendio because I just finished a feature which allows me to essentially start a server on the device without being jailbroken. This is iOS 26 by the way and uh, you can actually browse that server directly from the device. Now you can of course also do SSH or netcat directly to this application. For example from the terminal over here I can just say nc start for netcat and it will start the netcat server directly inside the application. Remember this is not jailbroken this is just iOS 26 and yeah I can go here in a terminal on my computer and since these are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network this would allow me to connect it asks for a username that will be root and a password that will be alpine and you're in Geotherm 2, which is essentially the terminal over here. And yeah, you can see send your environment, which is essentially like a jailbreakless environment, which allows it to run commands and, you know, view files and do stuff without being jailbroken. Everything is self-contained inside the application. And I did implement a lot of features. You can see here that you can do quite a lot of things, including to run bash scripts inside this terminal. And there is wget and a lot of things that you can do. But what I'm going to show you today is Terraform, an application inside the Sendio environment, which allows you to start a server directly from the application and browse the file system from within the app. So you can do Terraform in it for this. It will start the server. It says in here that the server is now running on the IP address of the device and the 8080 port. Now with this, I can just go ahead and access this address over here and this would connect me to the iPhone. And yeah, as you can see, this is running directly on the iPhone. You can upload files, you can delete the ones that are available in here. You can even see what device I'm running. It says it's an iPhone running iOS 26 and this is the kernel version string. In here you can now for example go ahead and add files to the device like this for example. I added this PNG file and as you can see it even shows the actual file permissions and yeah the file is now available inside the application and of course you can even see that if you do ls you can see that there are a couple of folders over here. This is the virtual file system mounted inside the application. We can see the into terraform share and in here if you do ls dash L, you can actually see the file that we created, the 17.5.png, with its date and of course its permissions. So this actually interacts directly with the iPhone. You can share files over, you can download files from inside the device, and in its final form, the Senio Terraform file server will actually support browsing the available sandbox paths from iOS as well. So you can download plist files and stuff like that directly from it. But yes, this essentially allows you to do a lot of commands that you would do on a jailbroken device directly from inside. Sendio. And then of course there will be a visual file manager as well directly inside the application. But I wanted to show you that I can connect directly from my Wi-Fi network from another computer. And of course you can even use curl and stuff like that. For example, I'm going to copy this example that I gave here in the examples. And yeah, you can run curl and it would actually work. It will connect and it would give you the answer from that. Essentially gave me the JSON file so it can connect. The commands do work. I had to actually implement all of these in Swift. Remember that this doesn't use any exploits, which means Apple can simply patch it. Whatever commands you have in here, you will be able to use them at any point. Anyway, that's essentially it. Thank you for watching. This will soon come to iDeviceCentral.com. I will let you know as I add more features. And you can, of course, request features down below. And if they are doable without a jailbreak and without exploits, I will be glad to add them. Anyway, this video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to fix your device if it's stuck in recovery mode, the iffy mode, if it doesn't power on anymore, or if you want to upgrade or downgrade it from and to iOS 26. Definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I'm GSNow. And peace out.